Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I am excited to bring this video to you today because I am going to teach you how to create some really cool mock-ups for yourself. Actually, the mock-ups are created, so all the heavy lifting is already done for you. What I'm going to show you is how you can use these mock-ups for free. They do have a paid version of it. I'll get into that whole thing later. Um, but in the meantime, like I said, I think this is very exciting because we can all use a little bit of help when it comes to, you know, utilizing the tools that are available to us, um, perhaps if we're building a business and again, kind of keeping our costs down. So I'm going to start this video talking about and showing you uh, Place It by Envato. Um, you've possibly heard of it and you know that, again, there is a paid version of it, but you'll get a bunch of stuff for free here as well. And then I'll show you at least one or two other websites where you can always get some deeply discounted mock-ups as well. And if you happen to be interested, I have created some of my own videos showing you guys how to create mock-ups using free tools. And I will link to those things throughout the video and then in the description box below. But in the meantime, if we're gonna deal say with t-shirts and you wanna figure out how to maybe create your own t-shirt mock-up video using free tools, you can always click right over here. Okay, so now that that has been said, let's get right into things. I'm gonna introduce Place It to you and I'm gonna show you what they have to offer and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a mock-up out of it. So Place It is by Envato, and Envato, you know, they make all kinds of really cool stuff. They make um, themes for your websites and obviously, you know, stuff like this and other things. <laughs> That's being a little general, but it's true. And again, if you were to come in here and say type, actually, you wouldn't even necessarily need to type anything. If you want to hover over mockups, you could simply go to free mockups here. And what you would see is you would see a variety of, uh, these are, I believe, are actually all videos. So you can use some free videos and they have, you know, plenty of images as far as these free mockups go. I mean, look at this. You get up to 22. I love it when that thing sticks. You can use, it's like up to 22 pages of these things. Okay. And again, you've got all different kinds of stuff here. All right. So this is a still, you know, this is a still image of a gamer. All right. And you've got a, a video of a woman and some of these videos, you know, you'll see they're, they're actually moving. Some of them you see it's just the background might be kind of, you know, decorated so it's animated, but the model, you know, themselves are, you know, they're standing still. Okay. You can always come in here and you can type things into the search bar, you know, maybe a t-shirt mock-up couple free. All right, and it would bring you to all kinds of options. And I might be signed in here, and you will need to create a free account too, in which I will leave a link to uh, in the description box below. But you know, if you scroll down, you can easily see, first you can hover and kind of see how things are gonna look like, okay? What they're gonna look like. Um, and you can also see that there is just a variety of different scenes, different people, different situations, and really the sky is the limit. Okay, you can also go to here. I think they've got they've got all kinds of different things here, but and you've got like print on demand. So if you want to, you know, focus, say, might be able to come up with some cool wall art stuff here. You know, I'd have to type in free and see what was available for free. But I did show you guys how to create your own free digital art mockups, and you can get to that right over there as well. Okay, but in the meantime, let's go back to where I was. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to click, all right? I'm just going to click on, a, I'm going to click on this first one here. That is what I am going to do. So what it's going to do, because we're getting right into the tutorial now, all right? So what we're going to do here is, all right, you would perhaps, you'd want to choose, you know, if you're, if you're selling, say, like a white t-shirt or something or a black t-shirt, you'd want to make sure that you're actually choosing a model or models wearing exactly what it is that you're selling. But this is a really cool thing. And the reason I wanted to work with a couple is because you get to see what it looks like, you know, on different people in the same image. And on top of it, if you happen to be selling either a set or maybe a couple different designs in one listing, this is a way that you would be able to do it. All right, so you've got like the left shirt color, the right shirt color, and here is where you can start to like kind of play around with that. So maybe you've got a design selling let's just say it's like your shopify store or something maybe you're selling you know 
a design on a black shirt, okay? But you also have the same thing available, say, in, I don't know, a red shirt, you would be able to go ahead and personalize that mock-up, which is really, really cool. And so simply what you do here is you would insert the image. Now it's gonna tell you, you know, what the pixels ought to be like of that image. I am gonna tell you right now, yeah, it's great to be able to do stuff like that, but if your image doesn't necessarily match these dimensions, it's not the worst thing in the world. However, if you absolutely needed to, you can always go ahead and resize using either iPicky or, you know, just bring the picture in and kind of, you know, create it the way you need to using the dimensions you would need to, you know, that kind of thing. But in here, what you do is you would insert your image. So if you were to, let's just say, click on this, they do have a recently uploaded option here. You can upload from your device, you can import from your downloads, okay, that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload one from my device. And just really quick, this is the left design, so I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose a design to where it would work well on a black shirt. All right, so I brought that in, okay, and I actually just created this specifically for this video. And like I said, it's not the worst thing in the world if your picture doesn't necessarily come out to the dimensions that they wanted to, because as long as it's not too big, you can always kind of come in here and sort of crop it and move it around, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to crop that. I'm going to see what it looks like. Okay. And so that's what it would look like on her. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to upload one that I created, you know, for something else. And this time I'm actually just going to go ahead and go to recently uploaded because I had brought this in. Oh, of course it's not there. So I had brought this in. Hang on. Let me just upload from the device. So it's going to bring that in. All right. This was the first one. Text mock-up from my awesome viewers. That'd be you guys. You can go ahead and move it around. And what's really cool is if you, you know, if you see it on the model and you're not thrilled with the position of it, you can always come back and fix it. Okay. Text mock-up from my awesome viewers. And actually, I don't love the way that looks on the red shirt. So you would definitely want to be clear about what kind of shirt you are going to put it on. Let's just go ahead and choose gray. Okay. You can add a graphic. All right. And just... Like I said, if you wanted to resize that, meaning like re, you know, put it in a different area or see how it looks if it's a little bit lower, that kind of thing, you would hit re resize. You can remove it. You can always replace it. So all of your stuff is right here. If you have a logo that you want to put maybe on, I don't know, the corner or something of the picture, you can certainly bring that in here. If you're wanting to say add text, this is really cool. And I believe it's relatively new. You can choose all kinds of things here. So you can say, get, I don't know, yours here. All right, you can change out the text. All right, and then I believe, oh my God, look at all these, because I actually haven't even played with just how many fonts they have, but apparently they've got a lot. Okay, remember guys, this is for free, okay? We're also going to come in here, let's get out of that. And we can, you know, we can change out the text color if you want, All right? The text background, you don't have to have anything going on. You can, you know, kind of make it bigger, make it smaller, no background, okay? Change out the color of it, that kind of thing. If you really wanna make it pop. So anyway, as you can see, these are things that you can do. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Let's change that here. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, I don't know, I'll move that up. You can always resize it a little bit. Okay, it's not what I would actually choose to do, <laughs> but just again, for the sake of the video, it's, it's something you can do. You can always reset the layout here and they do have some built-in graphics if, you know, again, if maybe you wanted to just kind of throw something else in there, you've got you've got some options, okay? And it seems to go for a while, so you can always type something into the search. I don't know, heart, and it'll bring up whatever hearts they have. 
All right, you can always bring something in. All right, it'll come here and I don't know. You can change the color if you want. You know. There you have it. Okay. And that's what it is, guys. That that's what it is to come in here and be able to you can save the draft, which is what I would recommend. Okay. And then what you can do is if you're happy with it, you would simply download it, all right, which is what I'm going to do. And it'll tell you it's processing and they will email you when, when it's ready, all right? You can get right out of that. And if you scroll down the page, it'll bring up some different templates that you might like, all right? You can check out the, you know, the same design and some of these other mock-ups. Of course, it doesn't tell you whether or not it's free. And if it's say like a single model or something, they'll even have this option where you can see if you like that model, you can see other mock-ups where the same model is, okay? So there you have it, all right? This is how you simply create your mock-up, okay? Now I had actually done this exact same thing here, okay, on this particular couple, but, and I just, this is because I was wanting to play around with it, so, in the meantime, you can see what it looks like on different people. And again, you know, you're able, able to choose the shirt color, which is really, really cool. Okay. That kind of thing. And if you were to hit the more button, then you can create your own color. The idea is to try to get it as close to whatever it is that you're selling. Okay. And I also want to show you video. So if I were to go back to where the video options are, okay, let's just go ahead. Let's click on this guy. All right, and you get a preview of what he looks like and what the whole video is gonna look like, and they are not very long. And then you would simply insert your image. So we could always go maybe to the recently uploaded here. Let's just go ahead, we'll put that in. All right, maybe make it just a little bit bigger. You wanna make it match what your t-shirt design actually looks like. And you can choose music. Now, I'm just going to let you know, if you upload a video to Etsy, they're not going to play the music. But if you were going to put this in, say, like for a Facebook ad, or you, you can probably, actually not probably, you can take, you can create like several of these videos. Take a, bulk, a bunch of these free ones. Use Windows 10 Video Editor. It's free or whatever video editor software you have. And you can create, you know, several of them back to back. You can like see different people wearing them. All right. So you can always go here, play. okay, and that is optional. So if it's clicked, you're obviously going to add it. And if not, that's not a big deal. Otherwise, and again, this is all like included. You've got all kinds of stuff that you can use. All right, you can seriously spend time like getting lost in all of these different options here. You can always do a search or you can simply go by, you know, the type of music that you want to listen to, okay, or have playing on your ad. All right, and then you would simply, if you're happy with it, you would simply download it. And like I just said, if it's a single model, oftentimes you'll be able to kind of see what they look like and all of these other, you know, mock-ups. They're doing all this Halloween stuff right now. You know, what other videos they might be in, that kind of thing. And then obviously some samples of what, you know, it'll look like. So anyway, that's how you would create a video. And you would go ahead and you would, let's just see, I have it. You could, all right, so I just saved the draft, all right, you can simply play it, and I disabled the music, so what you're going to see is you're just going to see the video after it's done loading. This can take a second. So now that everything has finished processing, it's going to bring up what it's going to look like, all right? You would simply hit the play button. As you can see, it's about 10 seconds long. There's no sound, all right, and this is what your little video looks like. And then if you're happy with it, you would just simply download it. Okay, and again, you can also save it to the drafts. And when it is done, you can either come here to your downloads or they're gonna send you an email, either way, okay? And like I mentioned, like as far as I'm concerned, that is not like in the greatest place. You would simply hit resize. I would probably want to say, bring it up just a little bit, all right, crop. And it'll show you what it looks like once it kind of moves up a little bit. Okay. 
There you go. So that looks better. All right. So that is how you would create a mock-up as far as like the t-shirts, you know, uh, of, of an image and how you can choose the shirt color and how you can add, you know, text and graphics and even your own logo, make a video. Again, guys, this was all free. Before I leave place it, what I want to also show you is I want to show you free mock-up phone. Okay. And then what they would do is they would bring up, you know, all of the different, I mean, these guys are like on their phone. All right. But it's something you would be able to do. Okay. And here, like, for example, this is like a whole little desktop kind of thing that you would be able to use maybe if you wanted to do um, with your mug. This would actually be great here. I was actually looking to see if I could, you know, find like a phone mock-up. However, I kind of have something almost even a little bit better here. I had shown you guys in a video, I'll put it right over here, how to create a mock-up for your ebook and, and, and for free. And this is just another tool you would be able to use. You might be able to like throw the cover, you know, on something like this as well. Okay. And you've got them here. They've got mugs. They've got all kinds of stuff. So anyway, again, all free. Okay. And they've got videos as well. Mugs. I have heard myself say the word mug on video a couple times on audio. And I have to say it sounds kind of weird. Anyway. But here you go. All right. These are all freebies. Okay. And here it's letting you know that the video we just created is, is ready. So this is cool, guys. And again, all of these are free. Now, if you are not looking for free, then obviously you're going to have like a ton of options. Okay. So if we want, say, you know, t-shirt videos and we want to use the subscription, then we've got access to, well, like a gazillion of them. All right. You got at least 49 pages. Okay. All kinds of stuff. Tote bags whatever. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the description box below. Okay. And you've got access to all kinds of stuff, but I really wanted to show you the free stuff as well. All right. So now I'm going to go to some deeply discounted stuff as well, just to show you what options you have. All right. So as you guys know, I am a huge fan of Creative Fabrica. I have got several videos on them as far as, you know, their subscription plans and you know, full print on demand versus basic print on demand and how to use their commercial licenses properly and all of that. I actually, I'll make sure that I, you know, link the videos and stuff in the description box and you can always check out one of them that pops up right here. Okay. They have all kinds of freebies and discount deals and they've got some really cool mock-ups. Okay. And then I'm going to talk to you about just a special offer that I have for my community at the end. But again, you're not required to actually, you know, start purchasing a bunch of stuff. But as far as some discounted um, things are concerned, as far as mock-ups go, if you're looking to expand a little bit, I had typed in, I believe I had typed in just mock-ups, okay? Just, I don't know, mock-ups. And as you can see here, you know, they must be running a 50% off sale or something because you can grab different ones, you know, again, at a very discounted price. All right, right now, again, it's close to Halloween, so you've got a lot of the orange and black and Halloween-inspired ones, you know, fall-inspired ones, definitely with some fall colors, okay, and holiday stuff. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all kinds of stuff there as well. I like to keep everything that I show you as free as possible, all right? But it's nice to have some options. It's nice to know what you're looking at. So this is just you know, just another option. Okay. You can totally sign up for a Creative Fabrica account for free. And I have gone over, you know, all kinds of freebies that you can get from places like Creative Fabrica and other places. You'll find a link to that here and in the description box below. All right. And lastly, I wanted to be able to show you that for my community, this has been going on for a little bit, and I believe this is going to go on at least for you guys, you know, again, my community for the rest of the year. But if you happen to be interested, you know, if you're downloading a lot of designs and a lot of graphics and a lot of, you know, different fonts, then 
I can get you a 25% off your subscription. And in this subscription, you get all kinds of things for the one price every single month. It is not mandatory that you do this, okay? But I'm going to tell you about it anyway, especially since the promotion is still going on. Uh, but you've got over 280,000 different design resources. Again, you can use these on, you know, your print-on-demand products, everything, okay? So this is how it is. And if you take advantage of the 25%, that is a lifetime price, okay? So, and they're always adding stuff all the time, okay? And then you get like some of these other, you know, little perks as well. So again, I will leave a description. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description box below and you can check that out for yourself, okay? So guys, I just wanted to be able to bring this information to you. I wanted to try to keep it under about 10 minutes, but that did not happen, did it? Um, but when I am showing you how to do things, I like to try to be thorough if I can. So just to recap, we went ahead, you know, I, I showed you all of the different options that you have here as far as all the kinds of free mock-ups that you have. Again, you will need to sign up for an account, okay? But if you choose something that's free, obviously you'll be able to do all of the same things that you can do with the paid ones on the free ones. You'll be able to download them and use them for your Etsy store, you know, for your, um, for your eBay stores, for your Shopify stores, for wherever you are selling your merchandise, okay? Again, and you can get them in still images and free images, um, rather free videos, still images, all of that stuff, okay? And you've got lots of different types of backgrounds and stuff that you can choose. And I also showed you where you can get some deeply discounted stuff as well, and where you can get um, your discounted unlimited access to their subscription, okay, of over a million designs and this and that and the other. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. I love to show you guys how to do stuff for free. Again, I know times can be tough and when you're just starting a new business, you want to keep your costs down. And so it is my pleasure to bring you these tutorials and these programs that you can possibly use a bunch of stuff for free, at least until you get your feet on the ground and, and get stuff going. So I hope you found this helpful and I would love to hear your thoughts about what other types of content you would want to hear on this channel. I hope you are doing well. I sincerely mean that. And until next time, take care.